Hello, welcome to the video again. And this time we're going to implement the singly linked list in Python. So this is the application we'll be building and I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my IDE. You can use any IDE of your choice. It doesn't really matter. So let's go over here to the uh, desktop and um, show you, let me close this and uh, I'm gonna go right here and create a new project. Actually, I'm inside my C drive. I created a folder called Code Python and I'm gonna create a new folder here Call it the linked list. Okay, open that in here and in the uh, terminal here. And the URL, just type in code. Actually, no, CMD. I'm going to open the terminal and then just type code dot with a space dot and that will load Visual Studio code. Okay, so I mean, this is just very basic stuff. If you know how to get there, and that's fine, but no matter what you do, just go to your IDE, create a project or link list or whatever you would call it, and we'll start from here. So I'm gonna just uh, set up my program to be a little bit structured. So I'm gonna create a folder in here called, um, we will call it list. Okay, this folder will contain the list, link list, because later on maybe I wanna build on this, I'm gonna add like, you know, doubly link list and other types of lists I wanna put that into a module. In this case, it's called a folder. I also want to create another one for the node. This one will contain the type of nodes, things like the doubly linked list node for singly linked link list nodes or other types of node, okay? And then inside uh, my list um, over here, let's well, so the node first, okay? And I'm going to create a under under init, under under dot pi. This is a file that Python will node that, um, this folder called node is a module. That's what you do. You can leave it blank, it's fine, but usually you can import and, and export data from here and so that you can access this file directly without going to the actual folder or file. So uh, I'll, I'll show you one in a minute and we'll come back here. So first, uh, let's create our node class and right in here in the node folder. So make sure you go in here and create a new file. And well, I'm gonna call it, um, a little bit long with okay, singly underscore linked uh, list underscore node dot pi. Okay, so this will be our actual file name for this Python uh, program. And inside here, we are going to create a, a simple class called um, class called S node for singly linked node, because I intend to create another node later in a future video series called the doubly linked list. So I'm gonna call it D node and so forth. So otherwise you can call it node, doesn't really matter, but I'll call it S node. And then here I'm gonna have an initializer for the constructor that takes the self and the actual item to be instantiated when you create a first node. So we have the self.item. You initially wanna set it to none. And we have another one here, the next node also be pointing to not initially. Okay, so that's the basic uh, constructor. And uh, again, typically you wanna have your get and setter so for here uh, for get node, get item. And then this will be just return the uh, self that item. Oops, I'm just typed. There you go. And then we'll do one for the getter, I mean setter. Um, let's see, set item. We need the item coming in. So we just put here self that item is equal to item. Now you see that, you know, usually sometimes I guess it's up to you how you do it. Some, you know, people like to put an underscore here for these fields like this because these are denoted as private data fields. And so instead of, uh, instead of accessing them directly, you want to go to the function to get them and set them. So that's another preference. But for my example, I'll just use the item in next. Um, just not to confuse with the diagram already introduced. <clears throat> okay, so these are some uh, functions that you can use. So when you initialize this in the constructor, after that you want to call the set item to uh, set it. Then pass the item to that function. So the item comes in as in, in the constructor. We pass that to the function here to set it. So now item is now that item. Okay, it's also to uh, um, Nice to have a um, another to override this function called the, the string function. This function here will print the you know the item to a, as a string base because usually you can have all kinds of data types. So it could be an object, it could be 
uh, uh, image or whatever it is. And so, you know, it's nice to kind of print it out to the console you can see them. So in this case, I'm going to over um, write this function and return the string format of this self dot item. Okay, you can do self item, you can call it the get item, it doesn't really matter here. Uh, just use self item for now, okay? Um, yeah, so these are the functions and the feature you use in this node. Of course, I, I would just use the dot next right away. In this example, again, you can use the get and setter for this, like get next, you know, um, set next, things like that, but we'll just use the dot next in, in, in this case and dot item just to make it easy, okay? But again, this will be just put it here. You don't have to use them, uh, but I, again, depends on when you work for, who you work for, how you make a, a, a policy for your program, because Python is not really like, these are not, um, uh, um, what do you call, um, oh, what's the term? Private, there you go. Yeah, you can't set private in, in the Python, not easily as you would in Python and other languages, okay? So that is the S node for that one. And basically that's it. So now we want to go to uh, the uh, program, the init over here. I'm going to import this node so that I can use it elsewhere, okay? And the reason why I do that is because I'll show you in a minute. So I'll go over here, create a new pro. Let's create a main program in the out and an out space and the outer space over here. Let me make sure it's outside here, not inside the class or the folder. I'll call it my uh, list.py. And this will be my main program. Okay. So this main program here is going to import import a, a list of the single link list, not the node itself, but the list itself. So before we do this. I should go back to the list over here and create another one. So let's go back here and we'll create just the init pi. Okay, so again, the same as before. So in, in the link list here, we're going to um, create another file for now. I'll call it um, singly uh, linked list. And this will be the actual file for that singly linked list. Okay, so when you import the file, the known file, uh, this this node um, file here to this file, you can use it, right? So usually you would do something like from the uh, node dot singly linked list, right? Import the class called S node, okay? So, I mean, you can do that. That's completely fine, absolutely, of course. And the reason why I had the init here is because inside the node, you can do this. You can import it here. You can say from the node dot simply link list import the S node. Okay, so you have S node here. I import it inside the init file, so that in my singly link list file, instead of doing this way, I could do this from node import the S node. You can see, like much shorter, and you can alias this as to a node only. Right? So you can import all the different types of nodes in it and just import as a node so that you can use in your program. Okay, so it's much shorter, much better than going through all these dot, 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 and so forth. So that is the reason why I put that there. So this will be the base for the single link list and we'll create that in a minute. So now let's see, we have our singly uh, node class is already finished. We have our um, main program here, we'll be importing the singly linked list from there as well. So likewise, I'm gonna go into the init here, stats just like before, from the list.singly linked list. This is the name of the file. I'm gonna import the class called singly linked list, which I didn't create it yet, but I will. Singly um, link uh, list, okay? And that will be the actual class name. So I'll do that here for us, save this. And so let's go to our singly linked list over here and create the class. So this time we're gonna create a very simple class. Oh, well, I mean, not that simple, but um, we'll create a, create a class called um, singly linked list, okay? This will be the same as what I called over here in my um, init here. So this is the one I'm creating. I'll make sure I'm gonna copy it and put it here, make sure it's the right name. Okay, so there we go. And when we create this file, we're gonna have a constructor as well. And that will take a uh, no data. We're just gonna in initialize the uh, self.head. 
they'll be pointing to uh, none initially. We have one for self.tail, also point to none initially. Okay, so that is our constructor for the linked list. And um, we will also be, um, if you want, you can also create another one here. Maybe we should call the size of the list. So initially it was set to zero. That would be the initial size. And so you get functions like um, get size and you know uh, and so forth. So a lot of the features we implement in the future is by is like to get the size append to the end of the list, uh, to the front of the list, insert in between, and and so forth. Okay, so we'll come back and um, we will do those in a separate video. But this is the default for now. So let's save this and now let's go into the main program. And so now that we have created our a no class, okay, we import it and then you, you we can export it out later. We're gonna use this no class inside a linked list class so that we import the, the no from there. We use it as a no because eventually when we append and create nodes, we use that in here. And then we import it in here so we can export the single link list out just like the, like the no list here. So the main program, we're going to import that from the list. As you can see, import a singly linked list. Okay, and then now we can use it in our program. So, and this is the main program. So I put here a function called main, and then we'll start from here. And then down the bottom, make sure we invoke that main function and we are good to go. So, um, and I'll stop here and then in the next video, we're gonna come back and we'll do a little implementation how we can add data or append data to the list.